Hey guys, welcome back to the jungle. Spring attack here. Welcome back to my brand new channel about mycology. Here, I will document my journey so that we can all learn from not just my mistakes, but also my huge successes as well. Just want to go over a few things before we start this video. First off, by the time this next video drops, I will have my Discord server up. This will be so that we can all create a great community around these amazing things we call fungi. Here, we will be able to get a hold of me with any myco related questions. Along with this, we will be doing giveaways, group grows, and trading genetics as well. If you ever need any help, I will be on there daily to try to help out everyone that I can. You'll be able to get access to that through my Patreon, where I post daily updates for free. The only paid content to view is the fruiting content. Besides that, I also just wanted to get a quick second to everyone that has shouted me out recently. This has been some amazing growth for not just my channel, but my brand as a whole. I can't wait to document this journey and get some amazing genetics out to all of you as well. With just under two months of progress, we will have been able to hit 400 followers on Instagram and 100 subscribers on YouTube. I'm honestly flabbergasted at the progress we've made and here's to an amazing rest of the year for us all. Anyways, today we'll be going over how to inoculate grain with a liquid culture syringe. This is a colonized syringe that is filled with liquid culture solution. This solution is inoculated with either an agar plate or a clone or another liquid culture. It's a nutrient rich sterile solution that when inoculated, the mycelium grows suspended in the liquid. This provides more surface area as opposed to putting just a chunk or two of agar into the grain jar, which in turn will colonize the grain faster. The materials you'll need to do this are seventy percent isopropyl alcohol, tape, a marker, liquid culture, a sab, also known as a still air box, and some grain to inoculate. This time around, I'm using popcorn for the grain. I'll be making a video later on that process, but if you watch one of my very first videos, you'll see how to prep whole grain brown rice for growing mushrooms. Make sure that you spray alcohol on the jars and let them sanitize before messing with the lid. I also wipe them down before letting the alcohol evaporate a second time. Now that we have everything staged to use, we will be going into our sap. This time around, we will be using a 32 quart Sterilite container to show you all that it's possible with a much smaller sap than I use. I personally use a 105 quart unmodified sap. We are going to take the liquid culture syringe and stage it as well for inoculating. First up, make sure to shake it up so that we can spread out the mycelium. I myself didn't shake it hard enough, but there seemed to be some mycelium in every inoculation, so I wasn't worried. After the lure lock cap is off, re-iso your hands and you're ready. I put the lids bottom side down as I plan to flip the lid before resealing the jar. I shoot about 2 cc's of liquid culture into each jar. I say about because I actually got 6 jars from each of these.
Now, we have the second one. This one is going to be more of a speed run. I am showing you all how that looks when I have a bunch of jars to knock up and really just not enough time. You usually don't want to rush through your inoculation, but I had an extremely busy night ahead of me. Since there's never not time for my ecology work, I obviously pushed through. Make sure that you're flipping the lid each time that you inoculate as you want the mycelium to get some sort of airflow so that they can start to grow since they intake oxygen and expend CO2. Another thing I'm making sure of is to keep the lids on just a half rotation. This ensures that the lid doesn't seal again so that you can get airflow. This keeps most contamination out as I keep my jars in an incubation tent. If you don't have one, make sure to wrap them in aluminum foil. With the first jars, I shook up the top layer of them all to gently spread out the liquid culture. This is just a little side experiment that I'm running to see if it grows out faster. The second jars, I didn't shake up. And finally, just wanted to show you all my setup with how all of the jars are set up and how I have them growing. There are a few jars I inoculated two days prior to this video and two jars that are pretty much fully colonized for reference. And real quick before we go, I have a website that I just created, giving you all the opportunity to support the Sparangatang Love wearing my merch. 
doing so helps me to turn this into my full-time or even part-time job. We have some really nice hats, shirts, hoodies, or even face masks that you can show your mushrooms that you support me while doing your mycology work. All right, guys, that's enough for me. Make sure to drop a comment so that we can start doing a comment of the day at the beginning of my videos. Let me know what you would like to see, what problems you're having, or just let me know how your day was. Have a great day, everyone, and be safe out there. Peace.